conversation, not sound bites, as part of our commitment on the show to share the stage with other voices. Today, Adam Longo brings us a story of Ashley Pearson, a young pastry chef who recently opened a chocolate store that sells finger licking confections. Take me on this journey that you've been on through desserts, pastry chefs, and now bonbons and chocolate. It's been such a long journey. I mean, really, I'm, I'm 12 years into the game now, which it, it went by so quickly, but starting right here in Georgetown, actually not far away in Foggy Bottom with Chef Robert Weedmeyer at Marcel's. I was the pastry chef there. I walked in as a really eager biology student who thought they knew everything and said, well, if I can pass organic chemistry, then I can definitely work here in the kitchen. Something I'm focusing on in the store are wrapped confections, or you can always come down to the counter if you don't want to get something that's already wrapped up and choose your own options. Okay, so are you sure that you can eat this? This looks like <laughs> art to me. What, what, what am I looking at here? What have you done? So right now, this is our hand-painted bonbon. So this is the signature product of Petite Sir. And what we're looking at here are dark chocolate butter caramel bonbons. So that's a thin layer of 70% dark chocolate with a really soft, ooey-gooey butter caramel inside. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what is the etiquette serving? Is it one? Is it two? How, how many would you eat at one time? One thing I will never do as a chef is tell people how to eat because I think you can enjoy them anyway. So you're saying that we could... We could have one a night, we could plow through a box. Listen, you're talking to a guy who goes through cartons of ice cream sometimes in one sitting. All right, so you're, where, you're there with me, okay? Talk to me about the confidence. You're, you're working in New York City, you've made this transition to become a chocolatier. At what point do you know, I can do this on my own, I can make it, I can start my own business and thrive? Pretty late in the process. <laughs> It takes a long time in the industry to really be confident. What I would say to people who look like me, don't look like me, who want to do something that I'm doing, is just to put the work in and trust that the work will pay off. As a chef, technique comes first, everything else will come later if you master that. You're saying that there have always been successful African-American restaurateurs, pastry chefs, pastry chefs, cooks, chocolatiers. They just haven't gotten the attention and they haven't had the support and the means of being elevated. Absolutely, that's exactly what I'm saying. I think African Americans in this country have always been in the kitchen. They have always been trailblazers. They have always been making the moves, but they haven't always been in the position to be seen and to be celebrated for the moves that they've made. I'm confident in myself, so I'm confident that Georgetown will receive me with open arms and Petite Sir with open arms because they know that this is something that's genuine, it's authentic, it's real, and it's here for the long run. I feel I've, I've gone in the right direction, so. Cheers, thank Cheers. you for having us. Welcome to the neighborhood, <laughs> and good luck with the business. Thank you. Petite Sir. <laughs> Now, I would absolutely love to support Ashley. Hey, it's my sister's name, Pearson family name. I, I feel a kinship with Ashley Pearson, but I've taught myself that I can't afford any candy that doesn't come in a bag at Giant. Okay, well, you would want to afford this mm -hmm. because you would want to bring it home to your wife because the kudos that you would get, that they would just be showered upon you mm -hmm. uh, with greatness afterwards. Now, listen, she was, she was a little humble, I mm -hmm. thought, uh, for, her, for her resume. I mean, her culinary credentials are impeccable. She was a biology student at UMBC, okay? So she, she strolls in to um, uh, uh, one of the restaurants in, in, in Foggy Bottom, um, and she says, hey, I, I, I wanna work here as, as your pastry chef. And they say, uh, okay, you got six months to sink or swim. She thrives, mm -hmm. okay? She then gets a scholarship to study in Paris at Le Cordon Bleu, the culinary school, comes back to the States, goes to New York to work at Per Se, uh, studied her face off after a promotion to head chocolatier of that restaurant, and that has brought her to this point now. Uh, Petite Serre, the name of the place, is because she's the little sister uh, mm. of the family. And as far as the, uh, the prices of the, uh, of the bonbons there, the, uh, their signature uh, item, uh, you can get a 16-piece set for $50, four for 15, nine for 30, 375 for one. 
totally worth it. Yeah? She let us uh, indulge on a few of them. Sorry I didn't have any for you here. Clearly. But, uh, uh, yeah. Yes, tell me how delicious the candy is that I can have none of. <laughs> Shout out perfect. to her. That's an incredible yeah. story, and I'm very happy to have her here in the district. If you can, go ahead and support her down in Georgetown, because, yeah. you know, entrepreneurs like her need that support down there. Absolutely. And listen, we got this story through a tip. Uh, folks like you are giving us these stories to go out on, so we want you to keep them coming. You can email me, alongo at wsa9.com. Hit me up on any of the social media platforms. I'm looking for you guys on the talk, but but no one's really chasing me there. So you got to stop calling it the talk. Then they'll feel decent about <laughs> okay. it. Okay.